welcome to Intimately Monstrous. I do not know a single thing about this game. The Itch.io page was pretty bland and really only had this um, artwork on it. So I don't know how the art looks. I don't know what the game's about. Uh, we're a human and we go to school, I think. That's about it. I don't know. Seemed interesting, but we can play it. <laughs> Ugh. Jeez, my head. Oh, that text. Oh, that. Okay. Where am I? The back of my head is pounding, but through the pain, I feel asphalt. Burning asphalt? White hot asphalt? Ow, 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 ow. I wince and instinctually grab my scorched flesh. Damn. What the hell is that? Open my eyes and immediately my mouth drops. Oh. Ah, it wiggles. <gasps> That's so cool. Immediately impressed. This is all it takes to impress me. I'm so impressed. I love it. Ooh, is that music too loud? Yeah, we'll turn it down just a little bit just in case. I couldn't test the audio because I didn't want to spoil myself anything. And there's no audio on the main game screen. So, hopefully it's not all goofy. Hopefully y'all can hear me and the music. We'll see. <laughs> a building somehow surviving the hellish fires that surround it stands before me. Oops. Shit. I gulp. Did I hit my head too hard or something? A nightmare? Or worse, sleep paralysis? Dude, you just stood up. How are you paralyzed? They are so thick and hot that it almost hurts to swallow. However, I can faintly make out a sign on the front of the intimidating establishment. I hope this isn't raunchy. <laughs> It didn't seem like it was. There was no warning on the page, the game page. Hang on one second. Yeah, no warning. No warning, so hopefully it's not raunchy. We'll find out. Um, however, I can faintly make out a sign on the front of the intimidating establishment. I think I've already read that, but just in case. Lucy University? No way. This must be a dream. College in hell? Even I don't smoke that much pot. <laughs> okay. But now I'm not so sure. Hey, you! Oh, the green text. Ugh. The green text is gross. It's a gross color, and it, it doesn't fit properly in the space provided for it. It don't look good. It does not. But everything else looks good so far. Hey, you! My self-reflection of my drug use came in a, came to a screeching halt when I heard someone's thunderous belling, bellowing. Words. Can't read them. Can't say them. What are you gonna do with Adam, though? Meh. Hardly had any time to whip my head around before I was yanked to my feet by the ear. Ouch! Hey, what the hell? Silence, you heathen. State your name. What? State your name, heathen. I can't hear the word heathen and not think of my friend John. Just like every other word out of his mouth is heathen. And it is fucking hilarious. Do I even remember my name? Oh yeah, it's Maxis. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> I can never forget the endless classroom teasing over that one. Once again, not having the chance to respond, this creature begins to drag me across the lot. As if the burn on the back of my head didn't have enough excruciating pain to go along with it. Being dragged across burning asphalt is one of my favorite things to do after all. Oh, isn't. I thought he was being sarcastic. Nope, he was actually trying to tell me something. Good job. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> the intense heat racing up and down my body led to me passing out before I reached my somehow intended destination. I was just talking about this this morning. Okay, this pain 
this, this pain. This time there's a little bit of leeway because there's pain involved, but like not knowing how to change a scene is no excuse to make the character pass out. It's just a cheap way to change a scene. I was reading a bad book, admittedly a bad book, this morning, and they did it twice in the first, in the first, nope, I don't want your Twitter things. Yeah, half of the book. And it says 1,273 pages, but it's a free to read book on my iPhone for Kindle, Kindle Unlimited. So, don't think so. Anyway, moving on. It just is a real big pet peeve of mine. It's just, it just feels so cheap. This way, it, it's got a little bit of leeway because there was pain involved in my book. There was no pain involved. So it didn't make any sense. Whatever. I'm just having a day of people passing out, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, tangent over. Uh, the in oh, wait, passing out. Yeah, okay, done. Ugh. Man, where am I now? Fading in and out of consciousness, I wait to hear the uh, hear the faint noise of an intercom system. Welcome, students. Oh, look at those skulls. Mm. Aw, this one's my favorite. Look, he's so cute. Oh, it's over here again, too. Aww. Wait, are they mirrored? Yes, it looks like it. Okay. I thought they were two different, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, squeezing my temples, I look around to see I was dragged and plopped down right at the door of what appeared to lead to an auditorium of sorts. Not to mention, whoever was talking sounded exactly like the person or thing that dragged me into this mess. What, what is this mess? Scooting closer to the entrance, I can see almost every chair is filled to the brim with monsters, like real monsters. Demons, goblins, werewolves, ghosts, succubi, you name it. I slap my head. Okay. That's it. No more weed for a while. Just for a while. Regardless, I figure I may find out more about this place and possibly how to get back home if I sit in on this presentation. Certainly couldn't hurt, right? I struggle to stand to my feet as my body is still sore from the lingering burns and scrapes from the asphalt. Where is Dean Lucifer? Why did he just leave you there? Once I finally get up, I quietly slide into the auditorium, careful not to draw any attention to myself. I see a couple of seats empty next to some odd characters, to say the least, as I walk down the carpeted path. Doesn't seem to be a lot of space. Who should I sit next to? Red-bodied shark tooth succubus. Pale and petite ghost, shady looking stitch up monster, hairy, goofy looking werewolf, slimy, big lipped fish girl, horn tattooed covered demon. Hmm. Hmm. How about. Tattoos are cool. Hmm. But that's so predictable. Let's. Let's get a werewolf in on this. Aw, oh, man. Should've done fish, girl. Werewolves are predictable, too. Oh, well. I was trying not to pick the, the cute little petite ghost or the cool tattoo horn. Can I go back? I changed my mind. Wait, we're gonna do the demon. I don't care. Fuck you. If you don't like it, go play the damn game yourself. <laughs> Aggression nobody asked for. Alright, I'll just grab the closest seat. There's an open seat near the aisle. I'm not a sink back into my chair and zone out like I do in front of everyone. You're trying to find a place. You're trying to find out how to leave this place. And yet you are going to zone out? What? You don't make any sense, my boy. And just when I begin to slip into the void, I can feel an intense stare hitting me from the side of my head. Hey, demon. 
I turned my head and immediately lock eyes with some sort of bull minotaur thing. You look cool. I like your hair horn contrast thing you got going on. It's pretty rockin'. Do the kids say that these days? Don't know. I did though. It looks like he's trying to size me up. If I'd known this place played by prison rules, I would have made a shank out of whatever was left in my pocket. Or whatever lint is left in my pocket. A shank made out of lint. Why? This dude looks fucking rad. Why would you be like, oh, oh, he gonna kill me? Anybody can kill you, don't matter what they look like. There's no audio, it's a little weird. As I slowly reach into my pocket, he finally breaks the silence, shattering my confidence. Taurus. Oh, well, that's predictable. I know that you're I know what you're thinking, and no, whatever you have in your little pocket won't be enough to take me. Oh, he's aggressive. Shit! Quick, think of something. Suck his dick! <laughs> Probably won't kill you then. Pockets. What are pockets? Boy you're interesting. Okay, maybe think of something not that dumb. Eh, <laughs> that's a first. You're kind of a funny little whelp. Tell me your name. Um, it's Maximus. Never really understood what my parents were thinking with that one, but if it keeps all my organs inside me, I can bear it. The name's Taurus. You should feel honored that someone of my status is even breathing in the same general direction of something so insignificant. As yourself. Okay, I didn't think he was gonna mean. Look at how friendly he looks. I didn't know he was gonna be mean to me. Ugh. Ugh. My heart. Why? Okay, I might not be the bravest to people, but Mama didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> and it's not like he could do anything too terrible, right? I mean, I can't die again, right? Plus, we're in public. Guess someone's horny. Shut up, you. That's... Are you talking about his horns? Are you making a pun? <laughs> I can't tell if he's making a pun or not. Because I... I... Puns... I am the embodiment of puns. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna save. Quick save. Um, and hopefully he doesn't kill me for making a pun at him. Jeez, I guess somebody must be feeling horny. The look on his face screams unamusement, but I continue. But um, it was a pun. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best. The look of unamusement immediately turns into disgust. You know, because you got those horns. And clearly there's some sort of frustrating frustration going on between us. Am I right? Okay, the second part I'm not sure I agree with. Mostly he just verbally attacked you and then you just got really aggressive for no reason. Okay. <laughs> before I could say any anything else, Tor stands up to leave the auditorium, but not before wrapping a firm fist around my shirt. And before I know it, I'm dragged out into the hallway by an angry bull-like creature. Did I kill us? Is this going to be Sounds of Verity where I kill us four times before I'm done with a five-episode series? My, my. If you wanted to be alone, you could have just asked. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm still talking to this guy. There's steam coming out of his nostrils, and if he wasn't so blue, he'd probably look red. If this is a dream, what might happen next probably won't hurt too badly. I mean, if you're gonna keep breathing down my neck, we may as well. My thought process is interrupted by the feeling of a rock-hard fist slamming into my face. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to get your face wrecked on your first day in monster school. Before I can vocally communicate my unsatisfactory feeling towards the knuckles in my skull, Another equally hard fist makes a second impact upon my face. Upon closer inspection, it appears I'm being beaten to death. How rude. 
Like, actually to death? Did I actually kill you with my pun magic? Don't people realize the comedic gold that has left my mouth was worth my weight in diamonds? The nerve of some people. Although it confirms one thing. This isn't a dream. This is really hell, and I only lasted an hour. Apparently, Mama did raise a bitch. Taurus, bad ending one. <laughs> I haven't been, I never, I don't know how long I've been, <gasps> but I did download the game, unpack it, and immediately start playing it, so it should tell me, date created, 3.06, we'll, uh, quick load. Um, we'll see what he has to say when we do this. Oh, okay, shut up, you fuck nugget. I was not expecting in the one in the episode. Uh, okay, I deliver my burn without a trace of regret in my voice. He stares at me with the face of a man whose entire career. <clears throat> <clears throat> He stares at me with the face of a man whose entire career was ended with just five words. And then the veins start throbbing on his forehead. You have a lot of nerve talking to me like that. Yeah, well, you have a lot of nerve being alive. I must be high right now. We stare into each other. We stare into each other. Down. Try again. We stare each other down. Like it's an old western. I once again slowly make a move for the lint in my pocket. What are you doing with the lint? Heh, <laughs> still going for that flimsy excuse of a weapon? Even after I told you it wouldn't work. I'm just very stubborn. Ha ha ha. He starts maniacally laughing with a quick and loud snort before sitting in silence until the assembly was over. Does he snore? That's so cute. He's like, ha ha ha. As everyone was, I made the right choice, you guys are welcome. <laughs> As everyone was leaving the auditorium, I quickly got up and booked it to the exit. Just as I'm close to the exit, I can feel the heavy breathing hitting the back of my neck. I turn around to meet the offender and see a familiar face. You know, you got a lot of balls talking to me the way you did. You must not know who I am, do you? He beat me to death for making a pun. But he's totally fine with me threatening him. I mean, should I? Did I just insult the de demonic equivalent to a Kardashian? Very funny, little Maximus. But I have a proposition for you. What? Is it butt sex? Oh, what's this? A proposition from the mighty Taurus? How flabbergasting. Excellent. I'd like to... I've, I'll see you at the library tomorrow and try to be on time it's bad manners to keep your superiors waiting <laughs> what and with that Taurus leaves my superior like a senpai wait dude no I was being sarcastic I already don't have plans damn it wait oh the don't was okay I see <laughs> great my sharp whip scene stuff went right over his head and between his horns that is a funny joke. I'm amused. I would celebrate this field goal if it wasn't left in such a weird spot. You know what? Screw him. I've got better things to do. Surely he'll forget. Quietly wandering down what seemed to be an endless hallway, I managed to find my dorm room, enter inside, and immediately slam the door closed before anything else could stop me. Staring at the room in front of me, it's a lot cozier than I expected. It looks cozy. I guess hell can also have a decent interior decorating. What am I saying? How am I supposed to get back home? How have I even ended up here in this is a better question. I flop down on a surprisingly comfy bed and sigh. What a day. At least not a horrible first day in a university I never planned to attend in the first place. Met some interesting people at least. I wonder. Out of all the monsters, ghouls gob and goblins, I could have sat next to- who's trying to be my friend? 
Later best of you know Victor Nack Glorious Taurus. What? Taurus is out of all the monsters, ghouls, goblins I could have sat next to who's trying to be my friend. And Taurus is the only one I guess. I don't know what I was thinking, egging on a guy like that. I don't know why they gave us all those names. I don't really understand. Taurus is the only person we've spoken to besides Dean Lucifer, and that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking egging on a guy like that. It's like he was practically begging me to say the wrong thing so he'd have an excuse to beat me to the pulp in front of all those people. Maybe if I stay on his good side, or maybe find a soft spot, he'll protect me out of pity? No way. But only one way to find out. Sinking into my pillow, I find myself slowly succumbing to sleep, wondering what the hell has in store for me tomorrow. Oh, what hell has in store for me tomorrow? That's a good stopping point, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, the music's back. I don't know why it's not on a loop. Anyway, that was fun. I'm excited. This is just kind of like a random game I found on Itch.io, and I was just like, sounds interesting enough. Sounds more interesting than what I was planning on recording today, because I'm that kind of person. I don't know what I was trying to say. Whatever. I like it. I'm going to keep playing it. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Intimately Monstrous. I don't know what you're thinking. You look nice. Yeah, I do because I have a dinner to go to, but it's actually the same day. When I first recorded this, I just want to make sure that there's no nudie bits, because nudie bits being shared on YouTube is against the rule. So we ain't going to do that. Okay? Okay. Um, all right. Where were we? The library. Hmm. This place is actually peaceful. Not with this music, but okay. Ah, you actually made it on time. Oh no. It's a pleasant surprise when peons like you can tell time. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Dude, I know. You ain't gotta tell me you already killed me once. I don't like you now. Oh ho ho. There's that sharp wit that makes you so entertaining. I guess I should start calling you Nitwit. It's kind of funny. A little funny. I would tell you to go to hell, but alas, we're already here. Come on. He snorts loudly. Kind of getting used to that, honestly. The snort? His snorts. They're so cute. I wish that I could hear him actually snorting because it's fucking adorable in my imagination. Just this cute little. <laughs> so cute! So, why did you want to see me again? I decided as your superior that I shall educate you on the glory of this esteemed university. Ha? Huh? What makes you think I came here to do any learning? We're in a library, in a college, what else would you do here? There's computers here, fiction novels, comics. There's plenty of ways to goof off in this so-called building of education. Enough! I don't care about how you feel your worthless time. Now pick a subject. Hell, I'll even let you pick first. I don't care. I don't care about this kind of stuff, like at all. What do you mean you don't care? Why else would you attend college if not to extend your education? Well, for one thing, this university wasn't exactly my first choice. And secondly, have you ever heard of partying? Partying? Oh, look at his face. He looks so desolate. Holy hell. This badass is actually a giant nerd. Yeah, some people spend their free time getting drunk. Then they go to parties and get drunk with their friends. What do you do when you're hanging around with your friends? Friends? Pfft. I don't have time for such trifling matters. Okay. Then why do you want to hang out with me? Hang out? Such nonsense. I'm just grooming you to be my ideal assistant. <laughs> okay, thanks, I guess. Grooming? Assistant? Yes, you know, making sure you fill the role perfectly for when I take over this place. 
I'm sure you're aware that I'm destined for greatness, unlike the rest of you. Piss am. Urinal insects aside, what is the great future that decides who's destiny? I, the great Taurus, am being mentored by the high demon lord himself. Who's it right? And I'll rule over this Satan? Aren't they the same person? Am I stupid for asking that? I don't know. And I will rule over this whole domain with an iron fist one day. Is that it, Simba? <laughs> Excuse you? You mean to tell me that the reason that you act like you're the hottest shit since life spread is because you'll inherit this crap hole one day? My skills are so deaf that I've been able to win the favor of the High Demon Lord himself. I'm practically royalty. Practically, he says. Hey, you should be honored that I'm not having you hung for such transgressions. Hung? Really? What would happen if you did hang me while we're in hell? Hell. Sorry, some southern came out there. Is there, like, a super hell? Like, a hell 2.0? Maximum over hell? <laughs> That's funny. He looks so sad, though, so I kind of feel bad. Silence, you worm! You think you can talk to me like that and not suffer any consequences? Oh, shut up already! Are you doing... Are you doing to administer... What? Capital punishment every time someone says anything negative about you? Going. Should be a G instead of a D. Got it. Ha! Ah, don't be such a baby! Ooh. Hoping I didn't just sign off my own death certificate, I watched Taurus shift anxiously. You're right. Oh! He blush! Oh, look how cute he is! Oh! Huh? You're right. If I'm gonna be the next ruler of hell, I must grow thicker skin. This is why I need you. Whoa, okay, I wasn't expecting this. I knew I didn't make a mistake making you my second in command. I sought out to teach you, but I'm the one that ended up with a lesson today. Aw. You're hereby dismissed for the remainder of the day, Maximus. Dismiss? Was I on the clock? I was hoping he would go after some other chump, but I've only got him hooked on me more. Damn me and my mag magnetic personality. Hmm. Okay. I guess I can do back, go back to doing what I do best. Is the G and the G and the D aren't that close on the keyboard? They're one, one, one space apart. Hmm. Procrastinating. Taurus, good ending one. Oh, we got a good ending. How long was that? Maybe I should just combine the last two episodes and, like, we'll make it a series of just doing one character at a time, right? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Okay, sure. Sorry for the outfit change, but this is the actual end of the first episode. Thank you all for coming out and playing with me. I had a lot of fun. I actually really did did have a lot of fun and I'm excited to find out what all the other monsters look like and I wonder if they're adding more to the game like if this is some kind of demo I don't know super excited I want to know more I'll ask them but for now we'll just leave it at that thank you all for coming on and playing me out and I'll see you next time